So we are going to look at some upcoming NFT mints in the Solana ecosystem. We also have some whitelist on some of these projects. All you have to do is join our Discord below to join the giveaway. As always, nothing here is financial advice, only information, entertainment content. So the first project we're going to look at is called Hype Now. Its full name is Honorable Young Primates Embassy. Their motto is Hype, which is the abbreviations. Their Discord is a following of 42,000. Their Twitter is basically a following of 43,600 at the time of this recording. Their art is a different style of ape. Now, as far as the art, their tail is actually in the picture. So that is different from most ape collections. It's a pencil style of art. It's unique. It's different. Like all the other apes, they're, they're you know, they're, this was a little bit more skinnier, I would say. You can see the hype logo right here around the black t-shirt. That's a purplish type of ape. So you're going to probably see more of these different type of apes around here. So their vibe is up there on Twitter. Their founder group is made of artists by the name of Artisu Moon, who has a bachelor's degree in arts. You also have an analyst whose name is Tibu 300. He also has a bachelor's degree in economics. He has experience in game theory and tokenomics, co-founder of Island Capital. And the important one besides the artist is the developer. He has a degree on marine ecology, developed computer systems, programming, you name it. And also a co-founder of Island Capital. Now the team consists of Builder God, who is the marketing and sales manager. You also have the R&D director by the name of Lady Sniper. And you have the marketing advisor, social growth hacker by the name of Mary Crypto Poppins. Now the main thing is different types of passive income to their holders. In the short term, they're going to hire a professional traders who basically generate profit with an allocated budget and the traders will get paid by the profits they made. So they also have a sister project called Island Capital and there is a possibility of a participation through a VC and private investment rounds. So it doesn't have an additional cost to hype in general. Now in the medium term, they are also looking to brand and merge and airdrop a 3D NFT. In the long term, they are also looking to Expand in the metaverse. Overall, the project looks cool. They gave us some whitelist as well 20x whitelist. So, get in my Discord for the raffle. And if you want to support my content, make sure you check out my Patreon, which is linked in the description below. We'll have weekly QAs, giveaways, and you get to see what I buy and sell. The next project is called Zoonies. This one has a lot going on, so let's break it down. Their mint date is June 29, which is very soon. So, check out their Discord, and their supply is going to be 8,800. 88, which is definitely a good supply at this current market because 10Ks don't sell much right now. The price is going to be 3 sold and the public mint is going to be 3.5 sold, which is about 90 to 100 dollars. They have a Discord following of 39,000, a Twitter following of 86,000. Their art is more like a mutated alien, but cute type of looking alien in a way with a little ferocious twist inside. You can see that it has a different style of traits than what you see in average projects. Now, all of these traits are new in a sense because I haven't seen them in Solana so very unique as far as art you can see the little stars right there you can, this a little white cap around it heart and its chest so it's definitely different from what I've seen now in general there's different types of zoonies and how they don't look similar to each other is very cool they are planning on developing a planet zoom metaverse it's like a 2d metaverse within 60 days you'll be able to claim a free alien themed apartment the total supply of zoom apartments will be around 10k which is 8,800 will be free air drop to the holders. So the extra apartments will more than likely go to the public. So if someone wants to buy two, it seems like they can't because apparently some apartments will be more valuable than others and it will randomly be generated. You can also stake your zoonies for hibernation to earn potion token and their lower is very much summed up but to be their advanced civilization living a utopia life and building a great paradise around their world they don't have a nine to five job and basically found truths about the universe which basically makes them almost perfect from humans they basically evolved from cute aliens to mutated alien with their potion so we have some whitelist for this project if you want to be raffled join their discord below the next upcoming project is called internet foxes now internet Internet project has a supply of 4,500. Mint date and price is basically TBD, but announcement will be coming soon from what they said in the Discord. So, Discord following is at 35,000. Twitter following is at 48,000. Vibe is a 7 out of 10. I would say it's decently vibing on Twitter. Art is a 7.5 out of 10. There are better art PFPs out there, out in Solana, but it's still decent. They have a different type of swag in their fox. Uh, 
their coloring is a little bit different as well. But again, it doesn't really pull out that pop out like other projects do. Now their token is called the Prey, which is quite interesting because staking your fox, you can basically use the token to evolve your fox or get a larger prey yield. All that really means is that the token could be inflationary itself. So your token is essentially devaluing as you get more prey token from me. But they'll come out more about the tokenomics here and they are planning to merge and brand themselves. And they also plan to make a game. Now, my final thoughts is that this is kind of a tough one. So the good thing is that its supply is at 4,500, but there is not much you can do with the token other than whitelist. So it could essentially go lower than its mint price, in my opinion, as time moves forward. So in general, low supply, great on the project doing this because the mint will probably be leveled, but maybe it will go lower, but we just don't know yet on how you know the market's gonna react. So let me know what you think of this one on the comments below. Okay, so the next project is called Mystic Men. And basically, I am attached to this art, and here is why. Now, this art is a little bit different. It's a little bit Halloweenish, spookish kind of art, and the supply is a 5,000 type of mint. And the mint date price is also currently TPD. Their Discord is about 75,000. Twitter is about 112,000. And their vibe is about 7.4 out of 10, in my opinion. Their art is a 7.3 out of 10. I really enjoyed that type of Halloweenish Joker type of look into their art. It kind of it's, it's kind of creepy, but it's got like a boop and a cool PFP style effect. Uh, I really enjoy it. It's, it's definitely a little bit different. As far as it being a PFP, I can't tell if it will gain a lot of traction, but we will see on NFT Inspect. A good example of a PFP that I thought wouldn't gain traction would be Primates. I mentioned Primates in my last video as a potential big project, but I wasn't expecting it to basically be from a little bit above from a mid-tier, which it kind of did. A lot of influencers switched their profiles to it. You know, the utility is only through hints before minting, so we don't know much. One thing we do know is that there will be staking. Now, their hint is that it will be unique, supposedly some mutation, but we have seen that before, but maybe it's a little bit different. So tokenomics, they are honest, they are not confident in this. I am perfectly fine with this because it, to me, it's a little bit more bullish because a project that starts with tokenomics right at mid have a lot on their plate. And a lot of times it fails because they have to concentrate on their token that isn't ready for staking and a token is not ready for commercial use and then the project tanks because of it. So that is one thing about this project that I do like is that they're not getting this implemented yet. Okay, here's an example. The gods didn't implement a token until they were very successful. Basically, they reached, I think it was about 200 soul price until they released their tokenomics. So that's a good sign that they are holding this off and concentrating on their mint, their art first before taking the next step. So let me know what you think about this project here on the comments below and on to the next one. Okay, so this next project is a different class as far as NFT. Let's just say I love utility projects and I'm already a fan of this one. I've almost fallen in love with this one because of what I do because I make content. So know that this is, could be a little bit biased because of what I am doing. So do your own research. Always do your own research. Now, they're going to bring TV to Solana Spaces. So the mint date is going to be maybe in June or July. Supply is at 10,000 and the whitelist price is going to be about 2.5 soul. The vibe is basically all right on Twitter. Brand projects tend to get all the hype, not utility, but I am putting this vibe on a utility level comparing to all other utilities because utility is a different sector of vibing on Twitter. Completely different from these big hype projects like OK Bear, Stripper Names, and all that stuff. Completely different. So that's why this type of vibe is separate. I'm separating as what I rank this thing. So the NFT art is basically a TV with Solana stamped on it. Now it's just one type of art that we've seen so far on the body. Maybe some other traits will be involved uh, without the TV. I did see one with a head, so it might be different. Now the utility behind this project is more important than the art itself. They already have an LLC, filed their trademark. So there are basically three parts to this. One is the platform, two is the content creation, and three is basically the NFT project. So that's all three and basically in a broad sense of things. The platform, which is number one, is basically how Web3 is going to share the streaming aspect of it. Web series content of NFT projects, influencers, you name it, anime for like the gods, whatnot. Basically like a central hub for NFT projects. So their example would be the gods building a anime series. So the gods can basically put that show on Solana TV, non-holders can see it for a fee maybe, and holders can view it for free. Now, 
The, that's just an example of what could possibly happen with Web3. And the second part is content creators. And how do they basically go into this role, into the system? Where they did a claymation interview style already between functions to the villain with other projects. So there's already one example of what could possibly bring into this Web3 type of app. Now, they're also bringing a variety of creators into into this platform games news influencers maybe sports and the last part of this process is the nft project itself which is number three so if you mint this you have free access to the platform and there will also be a solana nft award show at some point the team is made up of persons named of shane who worked on drumline 2 and other productions and a partner who worked on action director for many movies like luke cage and the recent bond film now the only concern is the possible competition that will be there in the future and as you know competition comes once ok bears came out what happens within a month Trippin' Ape, Pride Mates, Just Apes, all came in within their brand meta. Now, it didn't as quite work out as OK Bears did, but that's just a note of what could possibly happen. The good thing is that this is one of the first projects building this first, so that way they can get a head steam from all these other competitors and maybe build a moat around their project, a castle around their project. But who knows? But I am I am really interested in it. A lot of whitelists here. Join our Discord below to enter for a chance to win a whitelist. Make sure you subscribe and smash the like button with the notification bell. Much love and peace.